Presidency University, Kolkata, formerly known as Hindu College and Presidency College, is a public state university located in College Street, Kolkata. It is considered to be one of the best liberal arts and science institutions in India. The institution was elevated to university status in 2010, before which it was functioning as a top constituent college under University of Calcutta for a period of around 193 years. The university had its bicentenary celebrations in 2017. In its first cycle as a university, Presidency received the highest possible A rating by the NAAC. Presidency has been recognized as an Institute of National Eminence by the UGC. It appeared in the inaugural top 50 of NIRF rankings in 2016. However, NIRF rankings in 2017 and 2018 excluded universities like Presidency University which taught only science and humanities but not engineering, commerce, agriculture etc. Presidency University has many notable alumni, including four heads of states, five chief ministers of West Bengal, four chief justices of India, one Oscar winner, multiple Padma awardees, at least 15 Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar laureates, one Breakthrough Prize winner, one Nobel laureate, and multiple multiple academics serving as professors in premier universities of the world. History With the creation of the Supreme Court of Calcutta in 1773 many Hindus of Bengal showed eagerness to learn the English language. David Hare, in collaboration with Raja Radhakanda Deb had already taken steps to introduce English education in Bengal. Babu Budinath Mukherjee advanced the introduction of English as a medium of instruction further by enlisting the support of Sir Edward Hyde East, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Fort William who called a meeting of European and Hindu gentlemen in his house in May 1816. The purpose of the meeting was to "...discuss the proposal to establish an institution for giving a liberal education to the children of the members of the Hindu community." The proposal was received with unanimous approbation and a donation of over 100,000 rupees was promised for the setting up of the new college. Raja Ram Mohan Roy showed full sympathy for the scheme but chose not to come out in support of the proposal publicly for fear of "...alarming the prejudices of his orthodox countrymen and thus marring the whole idea." The college was formally opened on Monday 20 January 1817 with 20 scholars. The foundation committee of the college, which oversaw its establishment, was headed by Raja Ram Mohan Roy. The control of the institution was vested in a body of two governors and four directors. The first governors of the college were Maharaja Tachandra Bahadur of Burdwan and Gopi Mohan Thakur. The first directors were Gopi Mohan Deb of Sababazar, Joykisan Sinha, Radha Madhab Banerjee and Gunganarain Das. Budinath Mukherjee was appointed as the first secretary of the college. The newly established college mostly admitted Hindu students from affluent and progressive families, but also admitted non-Hindu students such as Muslims, Jews, Christians and Buddhists. At first the classes were held in a house belonging to Gorachand Bisak of Garanhata later renamed 304, Chitpur Road, which was rented by the college. In January 1818 the college moved to Ferengi Kamal Bose's house which was located nearby in Chitpur. From Chitpur, the college moved to Bobazar and later to the building that now houses the Sanskrit College on College Street. Transformation to university In 1972, an unsigned article was released by the faculty members of the college demanding that the college be given full university status. It is an open secret that the author of the article was Dipak Banerjee, the legendary economics professor of the college. The state government, then under the chief ministership of Siddhartha Shankar Ray, showed the willingness to listen to the demands of the faculty members, but it was still too early to grant full autonomy to the college. In 2007, the state government, under the chief ministership of Buddhadeb Bhattacharya and higher education ministership of Sudarshan Raychaudhuri, appointed a seven-member committee, under the leadership of Chitodish Mukherjee. The other members of the committee included Ashes Prasad Mitra, Barinda, Bimal Jalan and Subhamal Sen, to look into the possibility of upgrading the status of the college. 
The report of the committee suggested that the state government, while granting the college partial autonomy, should create more professorships and scholarships for meritorious students, thus making it possible for the grant of full autonomy to the college in future. In 2009, the governing body of the college unanimously adopted the proposal that the college should be given full university status. On 16 December 2009, the government of West Bengal tabled a bill in Bidhan Sabha titled the Presidency University Act, 2009, in which the West Bengal Legislative Assembly granted full university status to the college. The bill stated that once the college becomes a full state-aided university it will be renamed Presidency University. The new logo of the Presidency University has been created by Sabiasachi Dutta, Sabiasachi Data as reported in a letter to the editor of Anandabazar Patrika on 1 April 2013. On 19 March 2010, the West Bengal government passed the Presidency University Bill, 2009 in the State Legislative Assembly. On 7 July 2010, the Governor of West Bengal, M. K. Narayanan gave his assent to the Presidency University Bill. On 23 July 2010, the Government of West Bengal published the Gazette notification completing all the legal formalities for presidency to become a full university. Amaya Bagchi was given the responsibility of chairing a committee set up to select and appoint the first vice-chancellor of the university. Amita Chatterjee, a retired professor of philosophy at Jadaspur University, was appointed as the first vice chancellor of Presidency University on the 5th of October 2010. In 2011, Higher Education Minister Bratya Basu suggested that a mentor group, along the lines of the Nalanda Mentor Group, would be formed to oversee the work of the university. At the beginning of June 2011, the Chief Minister of West Bengal, Mamata Banerjee, announced that a committee would be formed with Amartya Sen as its chief mentor and Harvard-based Sugata Bose as its chairman to oversee the running of the college and perform the task of appointing all its officials and faculty members. The Presidency Mentor Group also includes as its members Abhijit Banerjee, Ashoki Sen, Sabiasachi Bhattacharya, Nyanjat Lahiri, Himadrai Pakrashi, Rahul Mukherjee and Ishar Judge Aluwalia, Swapan Kumar Chakravorty. Sukhanda Chaudhary resigned from the committee in 2012. In October 2011, Malabika Sarkar, formerly Professor of English at Jadaspur University, was appointed Vice-Chancellor of Presidency University. During her term as vice chancellor more than 150 faculty members presidency university's first faculty were recruited and joined presidency's first officers and the first set of non-teaching staff were also recruited a new logo was created by an alumnus infrastructural projects were initiated and the presidency university vice chancellor's fund for excellence was set up in december 2012 ugc recognized presidency as an institution of national eminence MOS for international collaboration with Trinity College, Dublin, Groningen University, Netherlands, and Etudes Politiques de Paris, Sciences po, Paris were signed. Presidency University's first convocation was held on of August 2013 and the foundation stone for Presidency's second campus at Rajarhat was unveiled by Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee on 6 February 2014. Presidency's first statutes were completed. Sarkar's tenure as vice-chancellor ended in May 2014. After Sarkar's time period expired, a new search committee was built by the state GOVT, and Chancellor of West Bengal. The search committee published a list of three professors and sent to the Chancellor. The first person in the list Sabiasachi Bhattacharya refused to join administration and choose to teach at presidency as the Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bose Distinguished Chair Professor in the Department of Physics. Ultimately the position went to Anuradha Lohia, a past graduate of Presidency College, who was a senior professor at Bose Institute, a premier institution of research and scholarship in Kolkata. Lohia had taught a number of students for their PhD research over many years in Bose Institute, affiliated for its PhD degree with the Calcutta University. The entrance of the campus is marked with a small guard house on the left. On the wall of the guard room is a plaque dedicated to Derwin guard Ram Ekbal Singh, who died defending the institute from the rioters. <laughs> organization structure Like every state university in West Bengal, presidency is headed by the ceremonial post of the chancellor. The governor of West Bengal is the chancellor of every university in the state. 
Keshri Nath Tripathi is presently incumbent in this post. The Vice Chancellor is the academic and administrative head of the institution. The post of the Vice Chancellor replaced that of the Principal after Presidency received university status. Professor Anuradha Lohia is the first permanent Vice Chancellor of the institution. Administratively, Presidency is further headed by the Registrar. Dr. Debajoti Koner is incumbent in this post. Academically, the university is composed of two faculties Faculty of Natural and Mathematical Sciences and the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences. Both faculties are headed by the respective deans. A total of 16 departments function under the university. They are, Bengali, English, Hindi, History, Performing Arts, Philosophy, Political Science, Sociology, Life Sciences, Chemistry, Economics, Geography, Geology, Mathematics, Physics and Statistics, the Controller of Examinations, the Chief Librarian, the Finance Officer and the Dean of Students are other important office holders of the university. The university is guided by a mentor group. The mentor group is chaired by Sugata Bose, the Gardiner Professor of Oceanic History and Affairs at Harvard University. Nobel laureate and economist Amartya Sen serves as the advisor to the chair. Admission Students can get admit in this institution for undergraduate courses through the basis of higher secondary or equivalent exam marks and admission test For postgraduation course, admission is held through the basis of undergraduate course marks and admission test Both PUBDET and PUMDET are organized by West Bengal Joint Entrance Examinations Board. Notable alumni